Hey guys, and welcome to Top 5 Wednesday. Top 5 Wednesday was created by Ginger Reads Lady, and I will link her channel in the Goodreads group down below. So, this week's topic is your top 5 tropes you hate. Um, I did not do the top 5 tropes you love, but maybe I'll get to it eventually. I might do a top 5 Friday or Saturday, maybe a Sunday. Top 5 Sunday, where I go over the ones that are in the past from this group, because I joined fairly late. Um, so, my top 5 tropes I hate, they are in no particular order. The first one is Mary Sue's. If you don't know what a Mary Sue is, a Mary Sue is that girl who's just perfect and everyone loves her. Nobody's perfect, you guys. Everyone has something wrong with them. No matter what, you know, you could be the prettiest person in the world and have a horrible personality. You could be, there's something, you know, everyone's not perfect. You know, you could be awesome, still not perfect. Everybody is not perfect. I don't mean to be offensive there, but that's just my way of thinking. Nobody's perfect. Um, another one I hate is insta-love. You're not gonna you're not gonna instantly fall in love with someone and I'm trying not to make a huge sound because my puppy is sleeping. But insta love is just so dumb. Make it part of the storyline. Make it so it lasts through the entire book, them falling in love. Don't just be like, oh, instantly in love. It doesn't work that way. It it just doesn't. Even in fantasy, I hate it. Okay you guys? The next one is the faux action girl. This is the girl who could kick butt, but won't. And th that's kind of my reply to it. You can kick butt, so why don't you? Just kick the butt. Just destroy them, please. Don't make someone else do it for you. Another one I hate is the emotionally closed off one. Like, oh, something happened to me or a friend of the past, so I'm not going to love anymore or do something like that. It's just stupid. That's all I can say. It's just stupid. Don't let a past experience, and this is not just for books and for authors. This is for in real life, too. Don't let a past experience affect how you're going to be in the future. And the final one is the Twilight one, I guess, which is your world gets turned upside down by this beautiful, mysterious stranger. No. No. I'm just, you, you guys, if you've seen Twilight, if you've read Twilight, you know what I mean by this. Just think Bella and Edward. I don't like it. You know, I've seen the Twilight movies. I've read the Twilight books. While they were okay, they weren't my favorites. I don't agree with the trope. I don't like it. In reality, that's not going to happen either. If it does, there's something wrong. No offense. But don't let a guy turn your world upside down just in the first meeting. Get to know the person first. Get, you know. It just, it was stupid. It was just stupid. But that is my top five tropes I hate. I can't really go into more detail about them. If I get into more detail, especially about the last one, I'm going to start swearing. I'm 24, so I'm allowed to, but I don't like to on my channel. There we go, you guys. So, anyway, I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a huge thumbs up. Tell me some below some of your least favorite tropes, and I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye, everyone.